What's up guys? Today we are gonna be doing a solo B-roll and we're gonna do a whole live demonstration of showing you guys how we actually capture the scene that we're gonna film. Then towards the end of the video, we're gonna have the completed edit and show you guys what we were actually able to do. It's gonna be a fun one. We're doing it solo, which means I am gonna be filming all of the shots of myself to make the video. No one's gonna be helping me. I'm shooting on the Sony a7 III with my Tamron wide lens and I also got a Tamron zoomed in lens. Another thing that I highly recommend if you guys are gonna be doing this is having some sort of tripod or at least like one of those gorilla pods so you can place your camera in different places to capture the shots of yourself. If you don't have one, it's gonna be so much more tedious trying to like balance your camera with little sticks and stuff. It's just not gonna work. So tripod, camera, that's pretty much gonna be it for this one. Just before we actually get to shooting, I wanna tell you guys, Sometimes filming yourself can be a little tedious because you have to set up the shots yourself. It's a little bit of trial and error. You're not really sure if the camera is doing what you want it to do. Maybe you're missing a shot, maybe you're missing focus, but there is something you can do to make this whole process a little bit easier and a little bit less frustrating when you are doing a solo B-roll. And that brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Millinote. Millinote is a super awesome organizational app where you can create a canvas online and pretty much add whatever you want into it. For this particular scenario, I created like a rough little storyboard of the scene that I want to capture today with some reference images and just to give myself an understanding of the shots I actually need to get to make this video make sense and end up looking how I see it in my mind. So you can see on my board right here, I have like the shots laid out. I can draw in little arrows to make sure I'm going in the right sequence, give a little description. I can even add a reference video to a similar style of video that we've done in the past. And I can also have separate boards within this board. And then I can set up something like a mood board for the shoot as well as a storyboard. So having something like Milanote can help you so much with being like organizational. And it's an infinite canvas that you guys can just like brain dump onto and then organize it all out so you can actually see what you're trying to do. So we're gonna be using it. I've got the mobile app on my phone so I can just refer to my shots as I go and I can be like, first shot's this one, next shot's that one. Makes it so much easier and it's absolutely sick to use. If you guys wanna check it out, it is gonna be linked in the description. Thank you to Milanote for sponsoring today's video. And with that being said, let's start shooting our shots. So just before we actually throw the camera onto the tripod and start getting shots of myself, I want to try and introduce some movement into the shots because this is gonna be one of the only opportunities that I get that it's not gonna be like on the tripod. Our scene for today is gonna to be me like kind of running through this forest. We're gonna have a high energy scene and like get some cool close-ups and lots of fast cut shots and like get jumping and running down and we're gonna end up over there. We're gonna start off by just getting some movement in our shots. So the first one is just gonna be like a nice establishing shot from here. I'm shooting in a higher frame rate so that I can slow everything down later on if I need to. And I'm gonna get a good punch in like this. And then I'm gonna try and move around a bit, maybe shoot into the light over here. Oh. <coughs> so maybe I can get some of this foreground of this like little bush. And then I'm gonna keep my shots going left to right because that's the movement I'm gonna be going in later. I get the sun flaring out the trees a little bit. At least then we've got like a little bit of movement in the opening scene of our shots. And I'm also gonna get a couple of cutaways throughout the video, just like to insert in between other shots that don't necessarily work well together. Kind of the opening shot of actually having me being introduced into the video. I'm just checking on my Milanote storyboard right here. And the first shot is gonna be me kind of running and jumping over the camera. I've got the tripod super low like this. And that means I can run from down here and just jump into the shot and then kind of keep running away. If you guys want to set your exposure, it's very difficult because you're not going to be in the frame. So if you point your camera in the direction that you want to shoot and just kind of hold your hand out in front of it, you can at least get a rough idea of what your exposure is going to look like. You can change your settings, hit record, and then when you're in the frame, it's most likely going to be right. I can roll like this and I'm pretty much just going to run in from here. Okay, that's gonna be all we need for this one. Because this is a much higher energy scene, we're gonna do like a lot of quick cuts. So we don't need to play out the shots for that long unless we're doing it for an intentional reason. But our next shot is gonna be from on the side here and we're gonna keep going left to right. So 
I'm gonna set the camera up like down here. And I'm gonna frame it up just slightly wider than I actually wanted because once we are editing the video, I can just digitally crop in a little bit and then like put a uh, slide onto the footage so that it has a bit of movement into it. I'll kind of take any opportunities I can get to like introduce a bit of movement into the videos. I'm gonna keep with that and just get like a super close up of where my foot would actually land. And then I can like cut those two together and they should work well with each other. For this next one, we're gonna find a creative way to introduce some movement again. And by this, I mean, we're gonna shoot like a selfie kind of, but it's gonna be an upside down selfie of my feet actually running like this. And that just means that we're gonna have like a tracking shot following my feet as I run along. It's gonna introduce so much movement into the shot. It's really gonna help like build that energy as we kind of running along here. So I am on a pretty wide lens. I'm gonna keep it like that just to make sure that I have the best chance of actually getting my feet in the shot. And I'm also making sure to keep it on this side of me because we were filming from that side and I wanna make sure that all my movement is still going left to right. So let's keep this out like this. And I'm just gonna run for a little while. I'll do it for a little longer than I think I need the shot because we can pick the best part later on because I'm sure some of it is gonna be like super jerky. So let's kind of run from here. So I think that will be super cool. And if you guys do have like shots that you definitely definitely need, it's kind of worth just watching them back to make sure that you did get them. Otherwise you're gonna get back to the edit and be like, no, that shot that I really wanted didn't work at all. It was like out of focus or underexposed. That one looks really cool. And the, the kind of shake in it actually adds to the vibe a lot of the like high energy moving. So let's check our Millinote board and see what our next shot is gonna be. And our next shot is actually kind of the same, but this time we're gonna be doing like a more traditional style selfie shot and actually just filming ourselves like this. And if I keep my hand low enough, you shouldn't really be able to tell that I'm holding this tripod at all. And it will look like there's just kind of someone filming next to me. This one, we can use our trick of setting our exposure because I know I'm gonna be filming mostly this direction. So I can just put my hand out in front here, make sure it's about right. I'm happy with that. And I'm also gonna make sure that I don't see the bottom of the tripod in my shot, which I don't. So we should be good to go like that. Okay. And then I'm just gonna run from here. Okay, I'm gonna do another one of those I just checked out and I wanna be like a little bit more in front of me as well just to show like some of my face and like me experiencing this environment makes it a little bit more personal. Okay. That's gonna look super cool. Hopefully we can just double check that one as well because it's kind of an important one. For this next one, I'm gonna get like a sequence of two shots that we can cut together. And I'm gonna get them using the long lens as opposed to the wide lens, which we've been shooting with thus far. And the reason is, is just because if I zoom in a little bit, I can get a much better view kind of looking down here using some of these leading lines of the river and the tree line on each side. And it's gonna be able to play out those shots a little bit longer than if I was on the wide lens, I would kind of be right there and then I would just be like gone and it wouldn't be a very pleasing shot anymore. So if I set this up from maybe here and maybe get some of this grass in our foreground, we've got some really cool backlight kind of shining into the through the trees there, which is gonna be perfect. I'm really happy with this. I'm just gonna set my focus to the trees down there because it's trying to focus like on our grass foreground. I can hit record and now basically I just need to run past this and I'm gonna keep running a little bit off into the distance just so we can like play that shot out. So start running from here. And let's watch that one back because it has potential to be really cool, but also potential to not have worked at all just because of those focus issues and like the framing's quite tight. Oh yeah, that's super cool. And the light's like coming in through the side, which makes it really nice, gives it this like hazy look. We're gonna get another one of a similar style shot, but much more from the side. And then I can cut them together and use them as like a bit of a sequence. So if I get one from here, still looking like into the light, I want my final shot to be quite tight, but I'm gonna stay a little bit wide because 
I'm gonna do another digital crop here. We can hit record on that. And then let's do another run. <laughs> Those are gonna cut together really nicely. Let's get some of our last shots of actually arriving and we should be good to go. You guys can see how like this can be kind of tedious to try and figure out like what shots you need next to fit with the other shots and having the Milanote board and having all of that storyboard and just your like mind dump onto that canvas makes it so much more manageable and easier to like just get exactly what you need and like be super efficient about it. So let's keep getting the shots. We should be done soon. I've seen a pretty good opportunity to get some cutaway shots just to splice between any of our other shots that might not be that seamless and smooth when transitioning from one to another. So the light is looking really nice and gold and shining through here now. And if I just get some nice like sun flares kind of coming out from behind those trees, it's going to also give the viewer just a little bit of a better idea of what this place is and like our surrounding environment. I'm going to try to get another one that has like way more foreground in it. And I'm of course keeping my movements going left to right still. Just do another one of those. Stay from here. Okay, and then I just want like one or two other details. Maybe this little river, if we look up it from here. I can get a pretty cool shot like this. And I might actually even use that as one of my intro shots just to set the vibe for the area that we're in. So I like to keep just a little bit of a storyline going on, even if it is a simple B-roll scene. And for this one, we're gonna be running. And then for our ending, we're gonna just be running up onto this rock and stopping, like kind of taking a second and then like dipping off. So we're right on the end now and we need to just get a shot of me actually arriving here for it to flow nicely together. So I'm just gonna run in past the camera and like stop on the rock and then just look around a little bit, like take it in, slow the whole video down, like change the pacing of it. So let's give one of those a go. Okay, so I think that'll work nicely. And then the next one is gonna be another one of the selfie shots of me just actually being up there and doing like a nice wrap around, really like showing the environment as well as my face taking it in. So we're just gonna swap over onto the wide lens shot. And I'm gonna start it from down here on the bottom of the rock, just in case I wanna use a segment of this when I have my wider shot of actually arriving there. And then I'm gonna get the main shot that I have in mind and I can have the option of both. So let's get me running up here. Okay, and I think that will look really cool, which means we are on to our very last shot. And that is just gonna be a shot of me jumping off that way and kind of leaving the scene. I'm gonna set my shot up slightly wider again, except this time, once we actually add that digital zoom, we're gonna zoom it in. And as we play it, we're gonna slowly punch out just to give us that sense of leaving. This shot isn't looking that nice, but I can see the sun is shining straight into my eyes. <laughs> so I'm gonna lift this tripod up to exactly where my face was. And then hopefully when we get our shot, I can block out the sun with my body standing on top of there. And then when I leave, it will kind of like flare back in. I'm gonna do the same whole sequence again, run up, stop looking around, but then I'm gonna run off out of frame and that's gonna be our actual ending. That is gonna be all the shots that we need for this little solo B-roll. Having the Milanoid board made this so much easier. If you guys wanna check it out, it is linked down in the description. And with all that being said, let's show you guys the actual edit that we were able to put together with the footage that we captured today.
that was what we were able to film. I hope you guys thought it was cool. It was really fun shooting this, getting like a little bit more of action style stuff. It's a little bit faster paced. And having that Millinote app made my brain just like be able to relax a little bit because I knew it was there. If you guys want to go check it out, top line in the description. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.